And welcome back. So as we discussed on the last video, we're looking at a complex of plain, squat, and press. Now the squat we covered earlier was with the bell facing down, simply to get the mechanics of that hip hinge so that we can then start to move in that flexion and extension pattern around the pelvis. What we're now going to do is having covered the clean, so you can see it's almost like a staircase progression, having covered the hip hinge, safe deadlift, and the clean or the rack position, we're now ready to squat with the bell in that rack. So we will do it with the air bell first and foremost. I am often a merciful coach. <laughs> Not so sure back in my Taekwondo days, but I've massively chilled out. Feet about one, one and a half shoulder width, give or take. Now, that air bell, what's going to happen if I go side on? The mass is here. Watch my elbow, that kind of, watch my arm, that, that V shape. As I, hip, as I go straight down, it's balanced, but I'm going to hip hinge here. So can you see now that this is just going to fall? I'll show you. So from that rack position, if I go down, all good. If I hip hinge, yeah, it's gone. So what has to happen is you slightly flare the elbow. As you hinge, you will lift off. This, this kind of wing action will support the mass during that transition so that you're not challenged in terms of your base of support because what will happen is it will fall and you'll kind of lean or adjust the knees rather than emphasize that good squat pattern that we're after. So without the bell first and foremost, so we're gonna clean that. As the hips come back, the elbow ever so slightly flares forwards and returns. So it's almost like, a, think of it like a bellows. Yeah? It's almost like an opening and a closing. So from that neutral, so, so from literally from this position, you're gonna have hips and elbow coming out and coming in. So from here, you've got hips and elbow. They will come out and come in. So from here, out and return. Uh, again, with the neck, depending where you are in terms of competency, ideally, we're keeping that neutral neck, but you are more than welcome to keep a visual forward so that there's one less thing in the mix that can confuse you, go wrong, or kind of slow down the learning phase, for want of a better term. We're looking forwards, and coming back. So sit back, flare the elbow, and come back. Sit back. Flare the elbow and come back. Now, obviously, there's variations here, mainly depth. The deeper you squat, the tougher you're going to work. As a beginner, I would recommend you simply going past about 45 degrees with the quad or the upper leg, shall we say. So, from here, 45 degrees and come back. That's plenty to start getting this activated. With the weight now, just to show you the exercise and the importance of that elbow flare. Coming back to that nice rack position. The other side, so that you can now see what's happening with the handle position. Back into the hip button. And down. So short and sweet. Key points here in terms of safety. Ensure that you emphasize the same mechanics as you do with the swing and also with the, the start video where we just pick the weight off the floor. So the hips, relative to that box behind me, are going back instead of down. If you go down, you won't lose the weight, but you'll also put a, sh a huge amount of force on the patella tendon of the knee 
And over time, that's not a good idea because what happens is when you squat here, you basically forget these bad boys, which are some big, strong prime movers. So we really want those to be developed by sitting back and then standing tall. So the squat, from, from clean, rack position, hips back, elbow flare, we're gonna breathe. In to rest, remember, offset the grip all the way. Again, last time. In, nudge, tip, bring to rest, and down we go. So you can see that these nicely follow on in a sequence. Safe and effective squat and deadlift. Hip hinge to swing and begin that kind of pendulum acceleration. The clean with a pop to interrupt that natural swing pattern. The nudge so that it begins a downward arc instead of a free fall. And then from here, that elbow flare to allow us to sit back and counterbalance as we perform two leg squat. And next, the final exercise for this video series the press, which will then allow us to create a complex that I'm sure you may enjoy. <laughs>